VA Jumbo Mortgage Update. So what I'm gonna cover in this video is what I saw a lot of in this year, which is 2021, and what I'm expecting to see more and more of in 2022. Okay, so first of all, do lenders realize that you can do 0% down on $1 million, $2 million loans? No, most of them do not realize it. So I am still seeing a lot of lenders where they're telling borrowers, you have to put down 5% or you have to put down 10% or no, you can't do VA at zero, you know, at a million dollars. That's crazy. Guys, you can. You just have to have your full entitlement, okay? Very important. So if you have a VA loan in Alabama, you know, on an $80,000 house, are you gonna be able to do a $1.5 million California house? House with zero down. N no, because you don't have your full entitlement, okay? Now, if you owned a house in Hawaii and with a VA loan and you're selling it and you want to buy that $1.5 million house in California with nothing down VA, as long as this one has sold, yes. Yes, we can do it, we can do it. So very important to know. Now, if you do have portions of your entitlement already tied up, well, then there would be a down payment required. But what I see most of is I, pe I see people who've never used their entitlement or it's not tied up at all and lenders are telling them they have to put down money and that's just wrong. You know, if they're telling them to put down money because of debt to income, sure. But the bottom line is this rule changed in 2020, um, prior to 2020, VA had loan limits, and unless you're a lender that does a lot of VA, which most don't, they really don't, it's changing, but most don't, they don't know about the rule. They don't know it changed. They don't know anything. They know something they remember from 1986 when they did a VA loan last. So very important for you guys to know, hey, I've got my full entitlement. Why can't I do zero down? I should be able to. Is it my debt to income? If it's not my debt to income, is it your company's overlay or do you just not know VA? Most important thing, putting that out there. Okay, the other thing I saw a lot of this year is I saw lenders telling buyers that, well, it's jumbo, so the rate's a lot higher. Mm, no, 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 let me help you. So it's jumbo, the rates are a lot higher. Let me translate that into lender code. It's jumbo, so my company feels like they can charge more, so the rate's higher. That's that's what it is. That's that, that really is what it is. And what we've seen in the larger loan amounts, like 1 million to 2 million, you see some lenders who are running it at full force. We are definitely one of those lenders. Uh, I think it's because we have a lot of VA producers who are in California, you know, in some of those areas where you really need those high loan amounts. Virginia, I mean, gosh, even Austin, Texas now, Dallas, like we're starting to see this everywhere and it's a huge benefit to the borrower. So, Yes, we are running at it full speed, okay? But there's other companies where like maybe they've done one, so they just kind of price it on the higher side because they don't really see a market for it. So make sure you're getting that competitive quote. As always, I'm licensed in 48 states. I should be hitting 49 pretty early in 2022, um, but I'm happy to look at your loan estimates. If you guys are getting a great deal, I will always tell you. Everyone, like my team and I, our code of honor is, we will not bullshit you. We will tell you the truth. If someone is smoking us, we will tell you, oh my gosh, that's amazing. You know, if they lock that, show it to us, cool. They're killing it, reward them with your business. And I strongly believe that. I believe that you guys should reward the lenders who are giving you good deals with your business. As long as they're legitimate deals, as long as they're actually locked, let's reward them with our business. I think you guys need to watch out for these lenders who have been marketing to you for years. You feel like they're your best friend. You've known them since you were eight, you know, in terms of marketing. They feel so trusted. Don't they care about me? All they serve is military. Red alert, red alert. Oh my God. Shop them. Shop them. You gotta shop them. You gotta shop them. Okay, so very important there. Um, now something else, VA jumbo loans are not hard at all. So we are doing a lot of realtor education and the thing that's very cool is because we've had a good amount in LA this year, uh, LA, California. There's real estate agents who do do some of the higher end properties that are really excited about VA as well because they're like, oh my God, it was so easy. Yeah, it is so easy. It's easier than a regular jumbo loan. If you said, hey Jen, should I do VA jumbo 
or regular. I'd be like, oh my God, do VA. Like it has no mortgage insurance. The rates are crazy low. If you get any sort of disability from VA, there's no funding fee. I only need one appraisal, even if it's a $1.7 million or $2 million loan. Like, yeah, let's do that. Whereas over here, it's like some of the rules that we see on Jumbo are just bonkers. And it's like, why even go into that world of headaches for a higher rate? You know, you got to put down 20% to not have a higher rate. Uh, normal Jumbo doesn't have mortgage insurance normally, but if you're doing 10%, 15%, the rate's going to be a lot higher than VA. So, you know, we're always happy to compare them, but in terms of like getting a deal done, VA is pretty magical. Now, in certain states, a termite report is required. Yes, and you don't have that with conventional. But generally, if you're in that like, you know, 700, 800 million dollar price range, generally the house isn't gonna have creepy crawlies. So I haven't seen it be a big deal. You know, I'm always happy to look at pictures online with you guys, you know that's my hobby, um, and go like, ooh, ooh, and I'll do that at any price point. You know, 50,000, 60,000, 2 million, get me online, it's fun. Um, happy to look at that. Now, what do I see the future? Okay, well, I think I'll see some guidelines loosening up. So what we've seen in like really 800 and above, across the country is we've seen different lenders have had overlays, meaning they might require a 700 or a 720 credit score. I think we'll see some loosening up on that as they get comfortable with it. It's still new to them, so they're still kind of like, <gasps> you know, oh my God, it's two million, we have to put some overlays on. Like they're like this broken robot that just wants to like make it difficult. Um, it's not really difficult. It might be like a credit score overlay. Right? Um, I think we'll start to see some of that removed. I don't think we're gonna be doing 60% debt to incomes at 2 million. That feels like a really bad idea to me. So I do think there'll be some sort of debt to income restriction that you don't see at 300 or 400,000. Um, but I do think overall in 2022, we'll see some loosening up in those jumbo loans. I also think we'll see them get higher. So I've been capped at 2 million um, as what my company is comfortable doing. And, you know, we've pushed a bit, but in reality, you know, how many loans have I lost? Two. It's not like I'm losing 40 loans a month or something crazy like that, but I think we're gonna see as the real estate agents get more educated on this topic, I think we're gonna see more demand in that higher price point. Um, and I think that that's when we're gonna start seeing more and more lenders doing three, four million. There are a couple lenders doing that right now. Are they charging you know, a premium for that? Absolutely, because there's only a couple doing it. So can you put down money with a VA jumbo loan? Sure. If you want to put down 20, 30, 45, I don't care. You can put down as much as you want. So you do always want to make sure you're working with a lender that will weigh out the pros and the cons of conventional and VA because if you are doing a down payment and if you have the funding fee, conventional may be more make sense. But once again, it's going to depend on if you qualify for some of those Alice in Wonderland type guidelines. So overall, my experience with VA Jumbo, I've been enjoying it. I've been watching it grow. You know, it, it's, we, we're analyzing our business, you know, and it tripled from one year to the next, and I expect it to grow probably tenfold next year. So any questions, feel free to call me. I'm happy to go through everything I've seen so far. Because of where I am, I have seen a good amount of it. So licensed in 48 states, almost 49. Happy to help you guys answer questions. You can always book a link in the calendar. Just ask questions. Like, Seriously. And if you guys are working with a VA lender or someone who's helping you with a VA loan and they're giving you bad information and you're not sure, ask me. Or if you want to check that rate, just call us. It takes literally five minutes. So we're always happy to be there and give you guys the best information we can. Thank you. And I will see you guys.